Hi, I'm Patu from Free Fin Cal. A reader recently asked me if it is game over for active large cap mutual funds. That is, uh, if uh, active large cap mutual funds will never be able to uh, beat the market in future. Uh, and uh, so, what does it mean for investors? So, um, before we begin, I want to make it very clear that there, these are two different aspects. What uh, as a category active large cap funds can perform or not uh, perform is a different uh, parameter from what investors should do as and I'll explain why that is the case uh, as we move along. So uh, active large cap funds can invest 80% in large caps and the rest of it can be in anywhere else but also it depends upon the number of opportunities that uh, that basically uh, uh, occur in any market that arise in any market if there are a lot of opportunities if there are a lot of stocks that are moving up then the fund manager can uh, even among the top 100 the fund manager can easily pick them and try to beat the nifty or the sensex and uh, even in the nifty or the sensex we talked about concentration risks where just a few stocks comprise 50 60 percent of the nifty or the sensex so if there are stocks beyond that which do well your fund manager can just take the nifty 50 stocks of the sensex 30 stocks and change the concentrations and still be able to beat the nifty or the sensex by just changing the weights uh, you some people call it index hugging and so on so uh, it all depends upon the opportunities that arise in the market there's a very simple way to measure how these opportunities arise in the market and that is if you take the nifty 50 equal weight index where all the 50 stocks have equal weight and divided by the nifty 50 total returns index that is a normal nifty now uh, so we started at 30th january 30th june 1999 uh, and where the we uh, normalize it to one both indices are the same and then you can see here uh in, there was a dip in the uh, during the dot, uh, dot com crisis uh, and then it moves up so higher the ratio this means that uh, more stocks in the nifty 50 uh, turn out to be winners so the fund manager has got a larger universe to choose from so if they if the if the ratio is low then if the fund manager does not choose the top uh, few stocks of nifty then he will not be able to beat the market so higher the ratio higher is the ability of the fund manager to beat the market and you can see generally it has gone up it has been going up going up and it has just peaked here at 1.7 uh, uh, this was uh, uh, almost like uh, early 2010 and from then on uh, the uh, market has become rather polarized and uh, the opportunities in the nifty 50 stocks have been falling down and uh, it hit a uh, low uh, during the march 2020 crash and that caused a reversal and then it has start, started moving up again if you consider the nifty 100 equal weight uh, index and divided by the nifty 100 you can see a lot more cyclic behavior and you can see a lot more ups and downs and you can see uh, again the all-time high was reached on uh, in late 2017 or early 2018 that was when the after that point if you recall the mid caps in, uh, indices started falling down the mid, mid cap segment started falling down the small cap segment started falling down the nifty alone was held up by a few stocks and that carried on for about a couple of years until the march 2020 crash and then there's a recovery now what i've done is i have marked these numbers and i have looked at the active large cap fund performance at those dates uh, at those nine dates and i have uh, uh, you know tabulated it here let me just pull this out to the next window uh, let's look at these look at these peaks here three four six eight and so on and if you look at this particular the all-time high was three and if you look at at uh, date 3 that is January 2018 at that point if you look at the 3 year return 20 out of 27 active large cap funds bet the nifty 22 out of 27 active large cap funds bet uh, the nifty over 5 years 18 out of 24 funds bet the nifty over 7 years 10 years only was 10 out of 17 still not so bad again over 6 years you can, if you see 10 out of 16 did well 7 out of 13 did well 8 out of 11 did well so when the uh, uh, nifty 100 equal weight divided by the nifty 100 ratio is at an all-time high in the period just before that generally the large cap funds tend to do well because there are a lot more opportunities for the fund manager because more stocks from the nifty 100 are performing not just the top few stocks so in, the, in during those situations the uh, the active large cap funds have done well so what this means is this is certainly not game over for uh, 
uh, active large cap funds there will be cycles this this ratio will keep fluctuating up and down up and down every time it moves up the active funds will have a good phase then and when it falls down the index funds will have a good phase and so on so it will be a cyclic behavior at some any given point in time there will always be some active large cap funds that will beat the nifty this is something that we have to get into our mind you cannot say um, uh, active on all active funds will will fail to beat the nifty and so on that is just childishness at any given point of time there will always be some active funds that will uh, beat the nifty but the point is we don't know whether it will be our funds or not we will buy one fund based on today's past performance and after 5 years there will be a different set of active funds that uh, uh, that will outperform the nifty they our fund need not be one of them and so on so our fund will also go through the cycles of outperformance and underperformance do you want to go through those cycles of outperformance and underperformance as an investor or do you want to choose an index fund is the question that you need to be asking yourself that is a question that you have to answer today i have written an article called is it okay to invest 50% in active and 50% in passive i had explained why i myself have not shifted to passive funds uh, you can read that article so you, uh, if you are further confused about this you can read that article for a little more clarity hopefully but please recognize that the game is not over for active large cap funds but for investors because the active large cap fund performance will keep going up and down for them they, it can be frustrating to hold and they will have to decide whether they are going to uh, accept this frustration or uh, say i don't want this frustration i want to keep this simple and just be a passive investor